Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the 18 sessions of the HR HRSD module and these sessions will talk about the HR profile. So in this uh, series, this is the last video I am going to be make here. Um, so after completing this video, after few days, I will combine all the video together and I will create a one video with the complete HR HRSD session. But if you want uh, to know about that um, episode wise, the total 18 series we have created for the HRSD uh, and today we'll talk about the HR profile. Even if you need this complete uh, PPT, that doc, this PPT will be available under my website, under my website called Snow Expert Rohit and here under that service and documentation you will be able to get this complete PPT. So if you need this PPT, okay. So without wasting time, let's get started and we'll talk about today HR profile. So very first question is that what is the HR profile and why we need the HR profile? HR profile nothing but um, the extensive information of the user information. So whenever you are trying to create a HR profile, uh, it definitely need a user profile into that uh, service now. And what is the difference between the HR profile and the user profile? HR profile have a more security than a user profile. It means that user profile is accessible for everyone and user profile have a lot of sensitive information user in the user profile you cannot put a lot of sensitive information but under hr profile you can create all this sensitive information and that sensitive information will be accessible for a particular member like hr admin or the particular user who is who, to whom is profile it is okay you cannot suddenly start modifying that hr profile um by yourself you need to raise the request and for the HR admin, they can modify your HR profile. So HR profile have a lot of sensitive information like your national security number, your leaps, your beneficiary, your account details, everything will be there under HR profile. But in the user profile, other than the user profile, it have a, you know, uh, limited information. Like it does not have a sensitive information. It's a public information will be available under user profile. So let's understand that uh, in this documentation, what they are saying that HR profile records to confidential employee data, such as name, personal contact information, email address, employment history, contacts, and in, in the non-scoped version HR. HR profile records are associated with the user record. As I mentioned that user records, um, it's extensive information for the HR profile. So it will be having some relationship between user profile and the HR profile. But unlike the user records, HR profile records are stored confidential and non-publicly viewable. It means that only you or the HR admin, they can see. Even you, can, you cannot directly start modifying the HR profile. HR profile records are created as part of HR process, such as onboarding process. Using generate HR profile, HR profile can be generated. Okay, so these are the definition for the HR profile. We'll see in the service now in just a second. In the service now, if you type that HR profile, you will be able to see one module. Uh, this is called HR profile, which is nothing but um, uh, HR service module. If you see the HR profile and this table name is a complete different called SNHR core profile. Now, if I open this HR, one of the HR profile, you can see uh, the very first thing is the number or the HR profile number like a, a incident problem chain. Similarly, there is a number called HRP and these record is referring to the user information so if i open that user record so this is the user record okay this is the user record and which have a publicly available and publicly everyone can see these details but in the hr profile in this table there are a lot of sensitive data which can be only accessible by you or the hr admin like your marital status your place of birth country of birth date of birth these things information employment start date end date you know uh, these are the information leave status position department every uh, in very sensitive information is there of board type notice period everything is there under the contact information this information is also available and if you see here in the bottom you have a beneficiary who is covered emergency contact direct report uh, colleagues case leave abs absence job these are the very sensitive information is available here uh, if i open uh, you know the uh, one of the let's say system inform uh, system user if i open the system user uh, profile you will be able to see the beneficiary information if you see here in the beneficiary 
there are three user uh, the system user is added the beneficiary one is the uh, these three user and they have the primary beneficiary type and this is the benef benefit type and their relationship everything is maintained here into that you know hr profile so what is the relationship between this user and this user uh, so everything is in, in you know provided here who is covered uh, so this their national tax id is also there their relationship also there okay uh, so this way you know the hr profile is a very you know can, can store the very sensitive information you know but uh, you know user profile have a very publicly open and it can have you know non sensitive data basically if you want to see the organization chart, uh, you know chart you can even you can see that in the portals you have a org chart where you can see that any employee who, who have their i mean their manager and ma uh, their manager manager you can see this organization chart you can see this is the user user profile and uh, you know there is no relationship if i type the able tutor here I can see the devil tutor uh, profile also okay and their designation their email address these things can be uh, you know available here similarly from the HR profile you can create you know you can create the um, in case from directly here otherwise you can go to that HR profile and see that um, whatever case is created on behalf of the user user profile you can see that okay so these are the information is available and they are very sensitive information so that's the reason they have put that HR profile so sensitive means that everything is controlled by ACL even but they have more security than the user also under the HR profile it, uh, profile you have a module called user which is nothing but all the user are showing here after that we have a generate HR profile in this generate HR profile you can generate the HR profile from the user table so this is the user table where I can select some conditions called a uh, company something like that um, so whatever company I'll select that and once we click the create case it will I mean create profile it will create the profile and I just have to be select the employment type what should be the employment type so based on that it will create all this employee and you here in the top you can see the profile to be created count is zero because this company doesn't belongs any user right now you can see the 72 so it means the 72 HR profile can be created as a contractor. So let's see. I have a, uh, you know, right now HR profile is 573. And if I click the create profile, it will be increased. So I'll simply click the create profile. And it will be start creating the profile. Okay. Now you can see that we have an option called show profile. And once we click that show profile, these 72 um, user profile are created just right now okay so this way you can create the user profile um you know uh, based on the your use case but remember that user profile is nothing but it's a extension table of the user table which have more security and in terms of more data okay user profile one more time the system administrator i just want to show that one more thing in this uh, in this uh, user profile i show you that who is covered right so if i open this pro in this record here who is cover record uh, here you can see the national tax id is visible but this information will not be visible to everyone because i am that mean i can see but uh, you know for non admin user they even don't able to see that record okay so uh, this record will be very you know sensitive information so it won't be visible to everyone okay so this way you can you know you know you can create that uh, you know HR profile also you have you can see the HR contact table they are maintaining the HR contact table which have the contact details okay so which have actually the contact details uh, so that is the other table so this is the, all about the HR uh, profile I I hope you understand that what is the concept between, um, difference between a user profile and the HR profile if you have any question just let me know in my comment section Otherwise, I'll uh, end this series here and then if you have any question, let me know in my comment sections. Until the time, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.